When I was a kid, I loved riding my bike. Now I kind of have a thing for those cars that just appear when you hit a button on your phone. But years ago, I'd ride my bike everywhere. Though once in a while, the bottom of my pant leg would get caught between the bike chain and that crank thing that you pedal. Of course, it would grind me to a halt and totally test my mom's grease removal skills. My point is that as a kid, I realized that things like cloth can grind a moving vehicle to a stop. Turns out one bigger thinking innovator has figured that out too. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. You're looking at one of the most dangerous situations law enforcement faces on a daily basis, the police chase. The risks involved with trying to stop a pursued vehicle without hurting its driver or anyone else are high. One enterprising individual decided to do something about it, creating a patented netting and tether that entangles a rotating tire, grinding it to a halt. The grappler is a vehicle arresting device, and it allows an officer to stop a vehicle effectively and in a controlled manner. I went to Phoenix, Arizona to meet professional roofer turned innovator, Leonard Stock, to learn why he invested so much of his own time and money developing the grappler. So how did you come up with the idea? I was watching one of those police chase shows and it was so aggravating to watch that that was happening. I went to sleep that night just with that aggravation on my mind and I woke up at three o'clock in the morning and this hit me right, right then. Leonard immediately sketched out drawings of how to make his grappler idea work. This was my first net design. It was more of a zigzag pattern and it worked all right, but it wasn't 100%, so I had to just keep at it. Using his basic welding skills, Leonard built a prototype that could be mounted on a police car's bumper. What needed innovating from this point on? This was large and cumbersome and ugly, and so there wasn't a place to put the net or anything else that you were gonna carry out. Mm -hmm. But this was essentially your proof of concept. Yes, this proved that I can stop another vehicle easily. Finding strong yet lightweight weaves for the netting and tether was a process of trial and error. What is the material here? It's nylon webbing. And how, how strong is this? This is nearly 20,000 pounds of strength right here. This is amazingly strong. Leonard makes the grappler nets in his garage and bundles them to be used in his patented design frame. How quickly is the grappler able to disable a vehicle? At 60 miles per hour, we were able to stop our F-350 within eight seconds. So how many times can you use this, this netting? Nets are one-time use. Mm -hmm. There's so much torque, it pops the tire off of the rim sometimes. Oh, wow. Leonard let me ride along to see what it's like to deploy the grappler and snare a speeding truck. My heart is thumping, but I, but I trust you on this. All right. Wow. That was amazing. And so this vehicle isn't going to go through an intersection and kill somebody. Wow. Leonard's videos went viral, posting over 70 million social media hits and generating hundreds of invites to demo the grappler for police agencies across the country. You disabled that vehicle in just a few seconds. The chase is over. Wow. 